And I'll start with confirming our quorum. I see everybody's faces. Commissioner Cameron. Uh, I'm here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Commissioner O'Brien. I'm here. Good morning. Commissioner Zuniga. Good morning. Here. And Commissioner Stebbins. Good morning, everybody. I'm here. So the five of us are here, Shara. And we'll get started again as a reminder. Governor Baker issued an executive director that provided relief from certain provisions of the open meeting law. We've been able to take advantage of those and we are doing so today by working remotely and recording this through collaborative technology. Uh, <clears throat> getting started today is July 8th. It is our public meeting number 80 for agenda setting purposes. We'll get started with an approval of the minutes. Mr. Stebbins. Sure. Good morning, Madam Chair, everybody. Uh, in your packet, you had the uh, minutes from the June 24th, 2020 agenda setting meeting. Uh, I would move their approval subject as always to any typographical errors or any other non-material changes. Second. Any further edits or comments? Okay, Commissioner Cameron. Aye. Commissioner O'Brien? Aye. Commissioner Zuniga? Aye. Commissioner Stebbins? Aye. Yes, 5 0. Thanks. So let's get started. Our notes are pretty slim, um, which is not a reflection of the work path done past. I just want to thank everyone. We had so many commission meetings over the last, really, uh, probably six weeks uh, and performed so much work. It's, it's not surprising that we have a little bit of a break right now in our notes, but I suspect that will be a leading break. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't think that would take very long to get that up and running again. So stand That's right. I, I, I'm looking at it with a certain, um, a little bit of a pause in, in welcoming it. Right. Uh, why don't we get started with um, number one. Uh, Karen, please. Yeah, so as, as always, I think it's a good idea to keep that on the agenda. Uh, the next uh, meeting, I think Marianne is, I'm just looking at my calendar right here, is the 16th, if we want to keep that on. Is that right, Marianne? Uh, I, I thought that was established that we weren't doing the 16th. Yeah, I think that we have decided, unless necessary, we would take okay. a from a commission meeting, and then of course being nimble in the event that we have um, some okay. other meetings to address perhaps reopening issues or just updates as we go along. Okay, okay. So that, I think that the works. Next, yeah. uh, next agenda setting meeting would be 14 days from now, so that's the 22nd. 20 22nd. Yeah. Does okay. that work? Yep, yep, so why don't we keep the uh, administrative update on for the 30th then? And my expectation. Can I just take a, a just a nod uh, ahead? Is, uh, uh, um, I, the, my only concern is I, I think I would like something on the books a little before the 30th in terms of the reopening. I mean, if we can have placeholders, I just feel like that's a long time to go well, and, without and kind exactly, of circling back. Right. So we could have something on the books. And, and, and so if we kept the 16th on for reopening, I'm, I'm actually thinking we might want that might even be that's eight days from now. We might want to have a a meeting in the interim. What do you think? Um, just keep the 16th then for reopening? I see. I, 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 that would be my preference. Just I feel like we, we, if everything is going fantastically well and there's no reason we can cancel it, I just feel like we should have everybody ready just in case we need to address things. Everybody will have been opened at that point for okay, at least so several keep the days. On for that purpose. Yep, makes sense. Yeah. And I know, Marianne, you might be having a vacation, but we'll, we'll be. Those three, right. days, those three days off, but we'll be able to um, have yeah. you help. Jamie will be back. Thank you. All right. So, so if everything is, is going uh, appropriately, then we would not need to do the meeting on the 16th. It would be only if there's some action needed by the commission or some concerns that we wanted to bring to your attention. Yes. Okay. Yes. That. Do, you, do we want to just reserve it for an update period, whether it's good news? And uh, maybe that's actually, uh, does that make sense? Commissioner Zuniga, you wanted to turn Yeah, I, 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 um, I agreed to, to, to keep the, the option open. I, I was just going to say that um, on the 30th, I'm going to be um, elsewhere, not at home, but I can dial in, same thing, dialing in remotely. Um, 
or whatever's worth. I don't know if, if we I think the 30th we've had on for a few items already. Um, yeah. That doesn't include Mark's report. Are you comfortable with that? We can yeah. always for another day. So we can talk yeah, about No, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm fine either way. Okay. Um, I, I generally agree that um, waiting until the 30th is, is too long to hear anything on the opening. But besides that, whether it's the 16 or any other time, it's it's, it's fun. That it's Okay, then we'll, um, why don't we keep the 16th on and, and perhaps we should just make it a report on the reopenings, positive or negative. Let's hope it's all positive. Right, I think that's and good. That, and that yeah. we'll be on the, on the we'll want to, we'll want a thorough report. Okay. All right, then the 16th, um, in terms of administrative update, anything else that we want to hear from Karen on as part of her reporting commissioners? Okay. Uh, is if they want to include uh, racing as well as right. gaming update. Yeah, absolutely. And then I'm also wondering, um, and I defer to the working group on this, but is there anything in terms of our internal reopenings that we would need to know about in terms of sending everybody back? I, think, I, would, opening? I think we should do reopening all across the board. All so across, we yeah. Simulcast uh, the horse racing. And I think what we really want to do is, not, is we want to also get full reports on compliance with mm -hmm. our guidelines. Right. Um, right. And that would mean our own reopening uh, compliance for our reopening internally. That means compliance with the governor's instructions. That's where you, we're using for the reopening. We don't have our own guidelines. And do we mark it as a vote just in case there's some reason we need to decide whether we're changing anything we've done already in light of what happens on the ground? Right, and we can be more specific as the date draws near. Right. Uh, for if if something comes up in the agenda, Commissioner. But yes, I, let's we'll reserve any right for vote on the opening matters. Right. Good. That works. Well, like I said, I was hoping for a little bit of a pause for everybody, but yeah. it, it makes <laughs> good sense to mark it up rather than. I assume we would have to have something, but I didn't know what date. So this way, it's on our schedules and folks are available. I don't have Jamie um, this week to help on scheduling, but I'm seeing that all commissioners are available on the 16th. Is that okay? Yep. Okay. Moving ahead then to our legal department and regulations and other legal matters. Yes, thank you, Madam Chair, Commissioners, and good morning, everyone. Um, do we actually do have a couple of regulations? And just to dovetail into that uh, 16th conversation, I think these are relatively uh, quick matters that would actually be great for if we could get them on that date. Um, and Shara is actually prepared to uh, walk, walk through these uh, with you all. So if I can turn it over to her real quick just to do that. Um, I think that 16th date would be great. Okay. Sure. Um, sure. So let me see here. So we have um, two emergency regs up for final promulgation <coughs> approval. Um, the first is the new 109 that enables the commission and the IEB to issue orders and procedures for licensees in the event of an emergency situation. And the second is the amendment, amendment to 205 CMR 138-68 that clarifies the one year period um, a casino patron has to claim winnings won't include any period of time that a casino isn't operating. Um, you'll remember that a hearing was held on July 2nd where there were no public comments. So, um, in the interim to make sure that one of these emergencies doesn't expire, I'll just need to file an extension to avoid a gap. But other than that, we should be good for the 16th for um, pre approval for final promulgation on both. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So if that works, uh, Madam Chair and Commissioners, then um, that would be the only two regs that require any immediate attention. And other legal matters? That need to be addressed. I know that um, one. I, I may have. I may have um, not seen that it slipped from the list, but the matter that you, um, Todd, and Loretta were looking at with respect to juvenile. Yeah, 
Yeah. We knew we wanted to put that under review, but I'm not sure, uh, Loretta, when that will be, when you'll be in a position to work with Todd on that. I know I noticed, good morning, I noticed this morning that that was not on the uh, list. We can put it under on the list again for under review. I think the next steps would be to uh, schedule some two by twos with commissioners um, and, and Todd and I can work on that together. Does that make sense? Could you plan on a, a memo on that too? Um, yes. That would be really helpful. Okay. Can, sure. you, can you be more specific on what the matter is or will we have to wait? Until this is a matter that's come up before and we pushed it. It was going to maybe make it onto the um, board meeting on week eight and, um, and then um, we needed a little bit more time. It hadn't been really fleshed out with the commissioners under review, but it has to do with Juvenile records, if you um, oh. uh, Loretta, do you want to elaborate? Or yes. Talk? Do you remember no, no. now? I remember. Thank you. No, I was. I just missed that part. Yeah. Okay. Great. We just need. We need a little bit more time before it comes. I think too. Okay. And I'm not sure if we actually necessarily have to act on it. It might be update. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I, so there aren't any other major things that jump out um, at some point in the next probably three days, the horse race committee will be providing the commission with recommendations as to an updated split. So that will be something that requires commission attention, uh, but that's not uh, imminent. The uh, horse race committee will be discussing that next week, today? I believe. Was it today? Do you have a no, horse race? It, no, it got pushed till next week. There was a, a request for an extension for the um, executive summary so that that was granted. And next week, the 15th, I believe, the, um, uh, our group, uh, our committee will be meeting to talk about the um, and, and possibly vote on the, on the split. And that's a public meeting, so if it is. Yeah, so if, if any commissioners wanted to observe. So uh, that's the 15th now? 15th, yes. Yes. I believe it's two in the afternoon. Thank you. Anything else, Todd, um, that you can think of for at least um, the short term? Uh, nothing that I think needs to get on the agenda at the moment. Okay. Moving on then to um, item number three, Loretta. And that is the uh, suitability of uh, PPC and we'll be ready to go uh, for the public meeting on the 30th. I will give you the packet next week uh, on that and uh, it will be helpful. I'm, I'm sure that uh, PPC and representatives from Penn National uh, would want to be available uh, that day. Uh, so hopefully you'll have uh, the opportunity to alert uh, me to whom you might want to hear from that day so they can be sure to participate remotely. Uh, but I'll be ready to go with Trooper Tom Roger and Financial Supervisor Monica Chang that day. Um, and again, get the packet to you next week. And I see that Joe is on. Um, he's on vacation, I think. Maybe not. No, I'm back. You're back, Joe. Anyway, um, welcome back from vacation. Uh, PPC uh, relicensing, <clears throat> we'll, we'll want to put it, uh, the other pieces onto the agenda for the future too. So should we um, address that now? Or Karen, do you want to wait as we go along in the meeting? I mean, I'm thinking that uh, we don't necessarily need to schedule the date. I think Joe will be ready to go when you need to do that piece, but it may make sense to do this phase one, the relicensing on suitability, and then once that's done, schedule. And let, unless, Joe, you have any other reasons to schedule it now? Um, no, you know, I think it, the way we la last left it was that we were looking at trying to do a public hearing sometime after Labor Day. So I think maybe, Karen and Kathy, we might want to just to get together a little meeting to strategize on when we want to uh, just set some tentative dates for these things. And, you know, 
you know, this, since this is a relicensing and we haven't gone through this process before, what do we want this hearing to look like? And, you know, what kind of input do we want? We, you know, we have sort of a basic framework, but I think we need to figure out what we want all, that all to look like and so on. So maybe we can figure that out in the next, you know, week or two on how we want that to go. I, I like that a lot, Karen, because it's a little yeah. bit hard to project out all these dates now, but I think that having a timetable on the different pieces for relicensing, um, you know, make sense and, and figure out the calendar. Okay, that sounds good. I'll set up that internal meeting. Because it's, it's not only the public hearing, but the other pieces, so yeah. great. Thank you. <clears throat> and then um, Mark, I thought, oh, he's, I thought he was he's on back. here. He's back, too. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Uh, there he is. Yeah. Hi. Um, it's good so, to be back. Welcome back. And um, we're on item number four on the magic waves. I think that you're um, ready for the 30th. That's that. correct. Yeah, I, um, I have the report. I, I'll go back through my email, make sure that I've sent that on. If not, I can go ahead and send you the, the full report with the PowerPoint uh, to follow. But we're, we're, as far as I know, we're still in good shape, or at least we were before I left. And, and uh, so that would be very helpful to have the report in advance, I think. Yeah. Uh, more days is always better, and that will be a lot of days for us. So that's good. And then Dr. Volber will be available on the 30th. That's correct. Okay, good. Marianne, so we, we just want to make sure that she's all set for sharing. All right, now we have items under review. Uh, Madam Chair, can I, can I just jump in this? I had one more item for the, <clears throat> excuse me, for the 30th. Yeah. Um, and that was, we had the one item on the Community Mitigation Fund, which was the West Springfield uh, item that we did not settle at the last meeting. We were looking for some additional information on that. And I think we had we had put that on uh, tentatively for the 30th. So if we can add that in, this was the West Springfield uh, Police Department uh, looking for um, you know was that supplanting versus supplementing argument that we that we were dealing with. We have reached out to them and requested some additional information, and I'll tabs on that, and hopefully we'll be ready for the 30th to to make that final presentation on that one item. Right. So before we move on to under review, are there any other items for either now that we have the 16th available um, or the 30th? And folks who are not visually there can chime in too. All set then. <clears throat> All right, moving on under review. I'm just really starting my work again. Uh, we put it aside, so I need to keep that under review. At the next agenda setting, I'll have a, um, maybe the opportunity we would have been able to sit down, uh, Todd and, and Bruce. Thank you. Next item, number seven, Dr. Lightbound. Uh, oh, no, sorry, I skipped yeah, over. Okay. I'm sorry, I skipped over the status update for the. Um, and um, I think Bill and I are asking that that continued to stay under review. The reason being that the primary vendors are really just bringing back their folks uh, now. So we have a plan for gathering some more information, but in these weeks when uh, their staff has been uh, not available, it's been difficult or impossible for us to do that. So now that folks are back, um, we can uh, gather the information that we need to be able to brief you uh, uh, to get some guidance on how to proceed moving forward. So if we could keep that under review in over these upcoming uh, weeks, we'll try to do that outreach to the, uh, to the vendors and uh, get the information on whether to expand our uh, designations of qualifiers to additional independent uh, directors beyond the, beyond the chairs that we've already designated. Right, right, that's fine. I'm sure you agree. And, okay. Thank you. All right. Alex, number seven. That can stay under review. Okay. Section 97 update or report, I'm sorry. Mark. 
Uh, yes, that will stay under review. Okay. And then um, the juvenile records that's going to be under review. PPC um, relicensing will keep that under review. There's going to be a few multiple um, items, uh, Marianne. So even if we address on um, Loretta's piece on suitability, we want to keep that um, relicensing under review going forward. And then uh, compliance. So that I would uh, ask to be under review as well. Uh, now that we're reopening the casinos, getting back into the regular course of business, we'll be looking at that and figuring out what uh, should be brought before the commission on a regular basis. Yeah, Karen, I think maybe it might be helpful at the 16th to give a little bit of an update on the internal controls work that was that. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I can do that. And then that report, um, if you could circulate that yeah. in advance, yeah. it would be great. Any other items that you're working on that you want to put for um, our consideration under review? I think we I think we missed number nine, the workforce. Um, my apologies, Jill. My eye, you know, shows I can see better if I on the screen without my glasses, and not so well when I look down at my document. No um, worries, Jill. Um, uh, Chair. Um, I had actually um, spoken to Joe Delaney. I think we'll, I'm gonna ask you to take it off and we're gonna wrap this into the overall reporting template um, that will take oh. um, in the fall. Okay, and in terms of the template being a matter for our review, you'll just introduce it when it's right, um, Joe. Yeah, I think, you know, we're looking at and when this started again last fall, but of course things all went sideways on us, but um, this was with a quarterly report uh, revisions, you know, that making sure that we're complying with all of our rules and regulations and, and making sure that we're getting the information that we want to see. Um, so I think, you know, we have a, a quarterly report that's, that's due uh, for the second quarter, which is not going to really show us um, a whole lot. Um, you know, so I think what we're trying to do is the next quarterly report that will be showing revenues and workforce and other things will be the third quarter report, which will probably be coming to us sometime in October. So I think the thought was that between, you know, we'll give our licensees a little while to get up and running again, and then maybe, um, you know, in, uh, right after Labor Day, we'll get with them and, and try to, and, and also with the commissioners and try to get everybody's input on what we want this quarterly report to look like. And of course, the workforce and vendor reporting is a large piece of that. So we thought we'd just roll that all in together. That makes sense. So the next quarter report is, would be due under normal circumstances? We, we have asked, um, you know, we have asked for a quarterly report uh, for the second quarter on by August 1st. Okay. Which again is going to show zero revenues and zero workforce and so on and so forth. So it's, it's really almost a, uh, you know, it, it, it needs to comply with our regulations, but it's really sort of a perfunctory uh, uh, report that's really not gonna have a tremendous amount of information. So, uh, you know, the thought was, let's try to work for that next quarter when we have real information to present. And, you know, again, in the past, we presented certain things in certain ways, and we're trying to figure out if that's the right way or the wrong way, or should we should do it some other way. Suppose part of their report would be um, preparing on the reopening and their, you know, the, the COVID-19 guidelines. Sure. Um, right? I mean, I feel like that's a big piece of their work. This, and, and, and what we're, I see my fellow commissioners nodding their heads. So um, I, it may seem as though we're all well reported on that, but we're um, really memorializing that work in their quarterly report <clears throat> and assuring their adherence, that would be probably useful. Anything else? Any other um, item that, that you're working on that you think could come before us? And we don't have our August date yet, but I think, what is that, like the fourth? 
14th, August 5th is the agenda setting and 12th. August 13th is commission meeting. Some, sometime again, uh, just uh, on the review at this point, but um, we should come with a budget update on the end of the fiscal year after all the late comments that is right now. So. How much time, Enrique, after the end of the year does Derek need for that? Well, th this one is a particular one that depends on, on, on late encumbrances and the like, uh, because it's end of fiscal year. But for now, call it, uh, you know, maybe we could target sometime in August, depending on how, how things go. Let's put that but For now, then. let's just put it on the review. Yeah, Enrique, accounts payable period for um, the fiscal year ending June 30th doesn't end until 8.30. Um, August 30th. Oh. So, so then we, September. Yeah, we usually do this the second week in September. That way, fringe and indirect have run um, on any of the contract payments that we've made last week of the accounts payable period. Fair enough. So it'll, it'll be sometime in September, but let's let's just keep it on the review for now, Marianne. Yeah. Anything else? Katrina, do you have anything for us? You haven't been doing anything at all. That you <laughs> <have been doing. laughs> um, I, I fortunately do not have anything for public consumption, but there are lots of IT activity behind the, behind the scenes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay, well, we continue to thank you for the, all the efforts as you transition us to the cloud, which continues to make some of us more nervous than others, but um, uh, Katrina, um, Karen, I'm not sure if at some point when it is appropriate, if Katrina wants to report back in a more okay. formal fashion to the five of us okay. on, on all the good work of the team. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Well, yesterday we had a nice meeting. The commissioners were able to meet with the gaming agents. And today, um, for those at PPC, they've started their work. We're wishing that that team well, and the GEU well. Um, Bruce Band has gone mute and is no longer visible to us. I suspect he's already at, hard at work, but um, excellent work. And again, as um, we move forward with the openings, if there's anything, anybody spots, any, any support anyone needs, please reach out to your supervisors or directly to Karen to make sure that we have the compliance that we're counting on to ensure the safety of, of everybody. Uh, it's an open, open channel. Can't, you know, no, no item is too small. In fact, small ones are the ones that we can deal with the most easily, but we'll take the big ones too. But nothing is too small um, because it's like the broken window theory. Everything will matter in terms of, of uh, really keeping things safe. Madam Chair, I am impressed that you're familiar with the broken window theory. <laughs> Wasn't born yesterday, Gail. <laughs> well, I, I never know how widely that is, um, is out there by those not involved in public safety. So I, that, that's my reason for it. <laughs> anyway, all good. Um, I so thought that was a tri-state uh, term, you know, New York, New Jersey. I don't know. Some native Vermonters and longtime Commonwealth uh, residents know it too. So yes. we are. Um, all right. So um, thank you. Um, again, one last time. Anything else that we might need? All right. Then, barring nothing else, do I have a motion? Motion to adjourn. Second. Any further comments? Okay. Commissioner Cameron. Aye. Uh, Commissioner O'Brien. Everybody has moved. Aye. Commissioner uh, Zuniga. Aye. Thank you, everybody. Commissioner Stevens. Aye. Thanks, everybody. Good luck today. Thank you. Well, yes. Thank you, everyone. Have a good day. <laughs>